we're here at Air Venture, and this time I'm going to say the year. Sometimes we don't because these are on YouTube a long time. It's 2013, and the reason why I wanted to say the year, they flew the Terra Fugia here at Oshkosh. The transition is the airplane, Terra Fugia is the company, and I'm speaking with Carl Dietrich, who is the CEO of the company, and you got another title there too, the Chief Technical Officer as well. Real brain trust up there, and Carl leads the parade. I'm Dan Johnson, and we have a chance to get inside the aircraft. When we looked at it two years ago and talked to Carl's wife, uh, Anna, the interior wasn't done at all, and we said, well, we understand that. It's a work in process. We won't look inside. Now we're looking inside, and it looks pretty good, and it feels a lot like a car to me, except with a dyno in it. <laughs> so you're going to have to walk me around the cockpit a little bit, if you would, Carl. Sure, sure, absolutely. So uh, let's start over on your side here. Well, actually, let's start on my side, since you're here. Um, so on this side, right now, we've got a G-meter in place here, but normally this wouldn't be here. This is for redundancy for flight test. We've got a glove box here that's sized for an iPad, and this is not Ah, beautiful, OK. Got to yeah. fit your iPad in. This is actually a passenger side airbag. Oh, behind okay. here. So we have drivers and passenger side airbags inside the transition. Sure, you got to have that stuff as a car, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. You mentioned the Dine and Skyview package. We've got our automotive lights, our aircraft lights, our hazard lights. Uh, <laughs> we've got our radio here, fan, just, you know, our temperature controls, whether we're doing defrost, cabin floor heating, what have you, auxiliary power, auxiliary uh, jack, got your got iPad tunes, right? or whatever, yeah, yeah your tunes. Um, so some of the things that we'll point out here, so, well, this won't be here on the final vehicle. This is actually just for uh, yeah, you're, our you're not quite done CG here yet, system. So right. It looks pretty finished, but this isn't the final. Right, right. So uh, throttle, and here's our enrichment for the 912 QLS. Now we are changing to the 912 IS. Ah, you're going to go with the IS. We are going to the IS. So we're going to change this center, center console, get rid of uh, one of these levers. That'll be nice. Here's our gear shift. So right now... Uh, Another thing we don't have in an airplane. Exactly. So there's propeller mode, there's drive mode, and then there's reverse over here. And, ah, and we're in okay, neutral okay. right now. So in um, drive, is it an automatic clutch then? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's, so actually, it's, it's a centrifugal clutch. It just engages. Once back and push the pedal. Exactly. Down. That's it. That's it. Um, let's see. We've got our parking brake right here. We've got, It's an electric parking brake. Okay. Um, we've got our BRS ah, okay. system Excellent. Excellent. right there. Uh, easy access. Yep, that's a um, good place for it too. Right, I'm a lot good, familiar good with that product. Good and pull. That's a good easy place to pull. Yeah, exactly. So now I see while we're while we're on red handles, we've got a couple of other ones here that I'm sure. guessing aren't going to be standard equipment. Right, this is for flight tests. Okay, uh, to pull the door off. Okay. Um, so some of the other things. This actually will be here. That we've got some head impact foam, some padding around okay. the the interior. So it's oh, actually yeah, it a couple inches of of uh, padding. Uh, this is the same sort of stuff that. They've got in cars uh, to you know keep your head protected. Yeah, this is another course. requirement as part of the it's, highway safety yep. standard. Yep, whatever absolutely. Are. Yeah, okay. we've got a carbon. You guys had to meet two case. sets of standards here. Yeah, absolutely, the whole airplane side, and then there's a the whole car side that most people don't even think about. Yeah, they buy a car and go. Car side adds quite a bit of weight. On yeah. that point, uh, Carl, what? category of car are you fitting into? There was an air, air recreational vehicle, I think, was yeah, what you were proposing we're, one time. We're a multi-purpose passenger vehicle, so sort of like an SUV. Uh, uh, so it's different than a normal passenger car. There's kind of a different set of standards. This is like like your Jeep. And the, the definition of a multi-purpose passenger vehicle is a vehicle that's designed for occasional off-road use. <laughs> Which we most certainly are. <laughs> I bet you they didn't think that through when they wrote those words. <laughs> well, airborne, yeah, well, it's off-road. So, um, like so the Dynon is up right now. What's not up is our, our touchscreen. We've got a touchscreen here. Actually, in the, the refined interior, there's going to be a secondary touchscreen as well. And this will be aviation this or automobile? Both. both. Oh, okay. It, we have our own well, computer, sure. actually. Well, sure. Just switch it around, then. Yeah, exactly. We have our own computer under the dash that uh, we, we give you all the, the dummy lights that you would have in a normal car, so your seatbelt indicator light, your engine warning light, you know, all of the oil temp light, all that right. sort of stuff. Gotta have that too. Gotta have all that. Um, so you might want to go around to the other side to see some. Okay, so over on this side, um, we've got a few things that you'll see. You've got your turn indicator here. You've got and your, your and your windshield wiper. Your windshield wiper, <laughs> right? Yeah. Another thing we're not used to seeing on light aircraft. Battery cutoff and ELT switch. 
right there to say in the event of an emergency you've got your wing oh, okay. fold buttons. I see a separate battery cutoff. Right. Yep. Right. Exactly. You've got wing fold buttons here, so if you wanted to fold wow. wings so up, so when he was in here and uh, and pulled he the wings, he's holding, he's holding both buttons at the same time right, exactly. until the process is complete and everything latches. Exactly. Now yeah. you've also mentioned that there's another button that he has to activate to throw those pins down the wings. Now that's so that comes when you shift your gear. When you shift I see. Into okay. prop mode, actually the act uh, of that'll, doing that that'll drop those pins. Exactly. Down. Yeah. Oh, okay, and then okay. you still got to get out and do your pre-flight. That. Sure. Yeah, that's it. So you got your left and right mags, your engine start, and then your your key switch, which is either on, <laughs> off, or wing full. Yeah. So don't hit start now. We're, we're, I hope we the camera picked up on this down yeah. here. You don't see an ignition switch that says on, off, wing too often. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I like a lot of the features here. Yeah. So um, now, one thing you can't see down here. I'm just going to pull it up a little bit because it uh, there's something to do with the drive mechanism. But here is the joystick down here, which yep. nicely folds right out of the way. So for yep. driving, you don't have this stick in your way. Right. Exactly. Easy to get in. Easy to get out. Four pedals on the floor. And I'm going to pull this up gently again, Carl, sure. just to yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. It's uh. Oh yeah. It's well. So that's you got uh, you got a good inch of clearance in there. And it's here's, not going to go up. So. Right. Here's your pitch trim. Oh, right pitch there, trim is so right in the you, know, you okay. probably fly it like that. With okay, the and push the talkers out on the front here, yep. I feel. Okay, all right. Um, I'll lower that down. Now, let me get my feet out of the way here a little bit. You sure. Point out got, uh, four pedals on the floor. You've got <laughs> rudder pedals on the outside, and then your gas and your brake pedal. So it drives like a normal automatic transmission car, steering wheel, gas pedal, brake pedal. When you want to fly, you just put your feet on the outside, put them on the rudder pedals. Okay, oh, I see, okay. Outside is the is the flying, inside is the driving. Yeah. Pretty pretty clear. Yep. And uh, gives a whole new meaning to four on the floor. <laughs> so how yeah. long does it take then, Carl, someone is pulled up to an airport and ready to fly? How long does it take to actually have the airplane ready to fly? Uh, so conversion takes less than a minute. And then you want to get out and do your pre-flight, so maybe an additional seven minutes, so less than ten minutes. And, and then when you when you land, you don't even have to get out of the vehicle. So when you land, and he'll Phil will demonstrate that uh, at the show here this afternoon, this evening, I should say. Uh, when when you land, you just literally shut down, switch over to wing fold mode. <laughs> Enter in your PIN number, pull it out of prop. Where do you enter push the PIN? In. Well, it would be that. on the touch. Oh, okay, that'd so, be on the yeah, touch screen. Yeah. Uh, pull it out of prop, uh, and then just hold those buttons down. You know, I got to observe one more thing while I'm sitting in here because I've now been sitting in here a few minutes, and it's pretty comfortable. And I'm picky about seats, so uh, <laughs> I often complain about seats, but these are quite nice actually. And yet, lots of leg room, so I can do what I need to do as a pilot down here. It's a nice combination. I like it. I like it. Yeah. And uh, what is the uh, cabin width here? Forty-eight inches at the shoulder. Oh wow. Okay. So you're, you know, good. You know, you, a yeah, good you and I are than a one seventy-two. I'm pretty comfortable inside. with you right yeah, there. Yeah, we're not even touching I'm each other. Even, so. Yeah. so even a couple of bigger guys that like hamburgers more than Carl and I do <laughs> uh, fit in here pretty well. So I think so. Well, I managed to pry myself out of the inside, and I don't mean that it was hard to get out. I just didn't want to get out. <laughs> That's a nice little airplane or car or whatever it is, and I liked it. But I want, we wanted to come back and uh, talk with Carl about the engine. And, and, and some other changes to the aircraft. Uh, as Dave observed, the engine used to be in the front. That was in what you call proof of concept. Yep, yep. This is now a, a pre-production prototype. Yep. That kind yeah, of thing. Prototype. Yeah. Uh, prototype. Okay. And tell us some of the changes that have happened to it, Carl. Okay. So some of the big changes between the proof of concept and this vehicle. The, the biggest one is probably the engine moving to a mid-mount engine. So the engine is now between uh, yeah. the wings there. Up our drive shaft significantly. So we still have a carbon fiber drive shaft, but now instead of being almost 12 feet long, now it's only about three feet. Oh, yeah, so that's made, made it a lot easier. Uh, so that shaft goes to a, a custom gearbox that you can select forward, neutral, reverse, ah, okay. or propeller. So uh, when you're in plane mode, the shaft just goes straight back, engages the prop. So it's just like having your prop right on your, your 912 IM. Uh, when you're in drive mode, the prop is disengaged. It's locked in this position okay. when you're driving on the to road. To keep it the furthest away out of bed Exactly, stuff. exactly. You can see it's pretty well protected here. Very easy. Um, so the, that gearbox has a right angle output shaft that then goes to a continuously variable transmission, kind of around the other side there. And uh, that goes down to another belt drive, which goes to a differential, goes to two half shafts, goes back to two other belt drives to the rear wheels. The, uh, but the prop is direct drive. So very, very simple, very straightforward, uh, engaged solidly, and uh, 
we haven't had any issues with any of those systems, so that's been very, very encouraging. So, so why did they have to widen the rear end out to by the prop area? So we, we widened it out so that we could use uh, an off-the-shelf propeller. It's a okay. prop designed for the 912. Okay. Uh, so that, that was very appealing. Um, the proof of concept had a custom prop, and it never quite grabbed enough air. Ah, we were always okay. running the risk of redlining it, and we weren't getting full power out of the system. Well. So this one grabs all the air we need, and uh, it's off the shelf. You know, you've got a good supplier. It just makes yeah, sense. good American brand, and so, they're working with you and with that engine. I know. So absolutely, yeah, we've so achieved so that. Wide open this. back here. Wide open. Which I'm with guessing this. makes your tail surface that much more effective. Yes, yeah, it's, it's also partially blown tail surface. So that very very nice for coming out of stalls or spins and things of that nature. Um, you put in a little throttle and boom, you got pitch authority. Is that so, right? Yeah, now, yeah, it's very nice. It's a big core, you know, an overall large square foot surface. Yeah. Uh, is that because you've got a lot of uh, because core a, body effect, or I think it, that's sometimes called? It's, it's, we've got a, a long wing cord, actually. So, it, it, you know, the long wing yeah, cord this actually is, you know, drives us. It's a have, big old wing here. I right. Mean, that's more than six feet. So, so having more area back here. Okay. Right. And it, 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 this design problem was very, very challenging because we were trying to meet light sport aircraft standards, 45 knot stall speed, and still fit inside a single car garage. <laughs> yeah. Right. So the, the design space that we were working in was, was pretty restricted. And um, yeah, we wound up needing a, a good amount of tail area in order to have the, the pitch authority to keep that nose up at 45 knots. Well, and another thing I noticed, the just if I just look at one side, the tail volume looks pretty large to me. I'm not an engineer, but I've learned over the years that the bigger the tail, the better the airplane and we got two of them. within reason. And yeah. you've got two, so right. I'm thinking this thing is nice and stable in the air. Well, you'll see it. Factors. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you'll see it in the air, and you can kind of get a sense for how the vehicle flies uh, when you when you film. Yeah, we've we've maintained the good uh, ramp over angle from the wheels, so that you know you can come down at a full stall, you're not going to risk scraping well, the tail. and going into certain driveways and stuff Absolutely. too. You got to fast. Exactly. How yeah. soon can I have mine? <laughs> well, Ooh, the uh, hundred dollar question. Uh, yeah. So uh, we've got to finish. We were actually going through crash testing. We partnered up with Bosch, and uh, they're helping us move through a crash test. Bosch. Program. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Name we so, all know. Yeah. And uh, so we're looking at probably two to three years, though, to get all the way through that. We've got to crash some bodies in white. We've got to run a drive mule through a very rigorous, you know, cobblestone road type testing course. Make sure it. Wow. Well, at the tall order you guys have tackled. Uh, you're doing it uh, brilliantly well from my perspective, but there's a lot there. Two, two masters to satisfy in addition to the public. Yep. Uh, that's a lot yep. going on, but there's a bunch yep. of bunch of smart folks up there working with you, and you're doing good. Uh, we've given a lot of information out. People are hungry for more all the time. You've experienced that. Where do we go on the web? We'll put it up on the screen, but give us the web address. Yeah, you can go to www.terrafugia.com, or if that's hard to spell, which I, sometimes it is, uh, driven to fly. Driven to fly. Driven com. to fly. That's pretty easy. You can do yeah. that. Uh, we've talked to Carl and Anna before, that information, and lots of other information about light sports and light kits. Available on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks a lot for joining us here today at AirVenture.